Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanna go ahead and show you guys, I guess a comparison between the three benders that I have. So you'll notice I have the Uniweld Crossbow Ratchet 2 bender, as well as the Hillmore, is the compact bender. And then this is the CPS Black Max 2 bender. All right guys, so let me go ahead and open them up for you guys. So there you have it. Um, the CPS Black Max and the Hillmore both come with aluminum mandrels. Okay. That is a big plus for those two. And, um, but what sets the Uniweld apart from these two is the fact that the Uniweld here is the fact that it can bend one and an eighth inch copper. Okay. And... You see that it's a monster of a crossbar too. If you want to compare it to the other ones, you see that? So it comes included in the kit. So that's the, the main reason why I had actually purchased that one is because I needed the one and an eighth inch capability to bend, okay? And it is, I have used it a lot and it has not broken on me, so. Um, if you look into my channel, you will see a video of how to use it and how to properly use it so that you do not break it, hopefully. Yeah, and also the same with the Hillmore. Um, I have my video of how to use that and the reverse bending attachment, which I bought separately, but you can also buy that as a kit. It's just more expensive. The CPS Black Max, I love that kit. That's the newest one I have. It's about two months old. And that one, uh, actually comes with its reverse bending attachments right here in the corner uh, with the price of the whole entire kit and uh, I bought that on special for 160 but um, it's usually around 190 so if you wait you can get them on special guys uh, the the Uniweld here it's it stays consistently at about 140 on Amazon the Hillmore you can get it for like about uh, 160 to 180 with just the bender itself or just you know without the reverse bending attachments with the reverse bending attachment it can range from like 230 to 260 these two kits are very much similar uh, due to their capabilities um, the if you look at the shoes or the crossbars you see that so it's kind of similar to the Hillmore over here okay so it has the same features except the Hilmer uses a snap-on feature and the CPS uses the wing nut screw-on type, which I kind of like that more just so that it does not fall on you, okay, in a tight situation. And the CPS also has the smaller crossbar for the smaller coppers, okay. Um, CPS advantage over the rest is the fact that it tells you when it gets to a 90 degree bend for this top one is for your regular bends and the bottom one will be for your 90 degree bend for your reverse bending attachment, okay? Um, obviously the one that looks the most flashy is probably the, the CPS Black Max, which I've been using it now for about a month straight and have no issues. Uh, it has not kinked any coppers, nothing. Same for the Hillmore. Um, I have used it as my oldest kit. I've had it for six years and has not kinked any coppers. Um, the only time it's kinked a copper is if the copper already had a slight, how do you say, um, defect in it. So as long as the copper is good, it will not kink it. Uh, some people will complain saying that they, they do kink copper, but I haven't had any issues. And the same with my Uniweld bender. I have not had any issues unless the copper has defects in where I need to bend it. But other than that, it is 
they have all worked perfectly no issues i highly recommend each one of these um i will put them in my uh i'll put a link of where you can buy them in my description and let me go ahead and get the the ratchets out so you can look at them okay so this will be the uniweld vendor okay This is the Hillmore, so you can see the difference. Okay. And then, you see that the Black Max, it's very similar to the Uniweld one. Okay. It's the same with Yellow Jacket. They're actually very similar um, designs. I think they just colored them differently and did their own their own thing with it. And you see, they both have latches at the bottom. Okay. The only one that is different is the Hillmore. I love the fact that they included this lock feature. Okay. And this is also pretty cool that it releases this part, the ratchet right here, instead of having to go and yank on it. For instance, the Uniweld, and CPS, you both, you have to use like that. That's how you release it, okay? But it does not matter which one of these you buy, guys. I highly recommend them. They're awesome. So, see, for instance, Black Max CPS. It's got a wing nut on it. Good to go. And then you go ahead and put your, your mandrel. Same with this, except for this one. Now this one is just a snap-on feature. Okay. So the quickest setup will be your Hillmore. All right. You got your Uniweld. You know, and this one also, you have to use a wing nut on the back to tighten them up. Okay. Um, as far as for the cases, if you notice, the, the Hillmore one is a bigger case. All right. And then the next bigger one, it's... It's actually the Uniweld by slight, by a really slight, like almost not that big of a difference, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them side by side. And then you can see the difference in how they measure to one another. All right. So I'm gonna get these up. and they come apart really easy uh, also a plus to the cps is that this comes off without the ratchet coming up on the hill more the ratchet comes up so you have to hold the the ratchet on the bottom right here with your fingertips you have to hold it if not you will not take that mandrel off very easily The put up of them is pretty straightforward. Um, let me go ahead and close these cases. And then you can see the difference. Okay. So you see there? The Uniweld is actually a little bit longer this way, but shorter this way. Okay. And then you have your. Max, which, if you can tell, it's only a little bit, you know, the Uniweld is only a little bit bigger just by this much. But other than that, it's pretty much about the same footprint. Yeah, so. So if you're going for 
you know, to conserve as much space as possible, the Black Max one might be your, your better option. Because keep in mind, so the Hillmore, you can get that and then you have to buy your reverse bending attachment. So it still comes out to 200 and something. And then your Uniweld, you can buy that, it's 140. But then you still have to pen, spend about 80 bucks for the reverse bending attachments and they don't fit in the case. So that's why I do not like. But the reverse bending attachments are not from Uniweld, they are from Yellow Jacket, okay? The CPS Black Max, everything comes in the kit and it's very, very compact. So that may be the way to go, depending on you guys. Um, the only thing is the Uniweld is the only one that does the inch and an eighth copper, okay? So it's up to you guys. Um, I hope you liked the review. Please like, subscribe, and share, and have a great day.